Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Disney exclusive Hocus Pocus Quantum Mechanics Q Fig Max. Now, this does not have a window on the front like the packaging for other Q Figs. Instead, it's got artwork and uh, this unique kind of flap that goes over the uh, front. So, a little more unique than your average Q Fig packaging design. You know, I really think Quantum Mechanics knocked this out of the park and delivered something really special. Like, if you're going to do a Q-Fig of the Sanderson sisters, you could have them standing on a base, you know, and just kind of like playing around or whatever. But this is such a unique way to kind of present them. Uh, one, you could just have them flying on a broom, but having them fly on the vacuum, it's... A very memorable thing from the movie, the, the flying vacuum, but also their placement on the vacuum uh, is great. It's kind of dynamic, and you get a sense of their personalities within their poses and their head sculpts. It's all very unique, uh, like unique designs between each one. I think this is just great. Like if you look at Sarah, they did a good job capturing like her smile, uh, you know, the attitude in the eyes and the eyebrows, versus uh, Winifred, who's uh, eyes are way more excited like in the sculpt you can just see how like bulgy they are in the eyebrows the paint on her lips is so good for uh for you know her her lipstick paint in the movie also just like the the curve of her, the corners of her mouth versus uh mary which you can see her bottom lip is kind of going at an angle that is appropriate to uh her performance in the movie you know um uh, the eyeball, the, the, the eye shade, the, the corners of her eyes, like the detail of like the paint of like the mole. The paint detail on these faces are really, really great. The smiles, the mouths, the eyes, it's really, really awesome. The sculpt of the hair, look at the little braid in the hair there. That's a nice detail, um, especially Winifred's hair. Uh, well, you know, all three of them, if I'm being honest. Um, some good details in the sculpt there. I love the little twisty point at the top, but Winifred's curly bun thing if you, I guess I'll call it that man that looks really really good and then you can just see like the sass in the, the pose for Winifred um, like the playfulness for Sarah and then like Mary like trying to hold on for dear life um, all the little details in her costume the layers of like the skirts the little like gold trim along the edges there the use of purple the stripes on her leggings the little uh, laces on the shoes just like, I think, yeah, you got the little rings on the uh, hand here. Very nicely detailed. I really like the use of different colors. Her feet flying in the air behind her. Here's a closer look at the, the cloud with the stars in it. The clouds, the vacuum, their placement on the vacuum. When you see this on the tabletop, it totally reads as a fun, Unique, dynamic design. Very playful. I dig it. Now, your average Q-Fig retails for 15 to sometimes 20 bucks. This thing on the Shop Disney website will set you back 50 um, which is a lot more than your average Q-Fig. However, usually a Q-Fig is just one. So if you're looking at 15 to 20 for one and you're getting three characters, 50 bucks kind of works out. Um, there's like a Buzz Lightyear and Woody one for 40 so like 20 for each character. Eh, it works out. Also, you know, this, the, the general presence of it on the shelf, I think it's so dynamic. I, I look at this and I'm like, well, within the Q-Fig market from Quantum Mechanics, I see the $50 value here. I think it looks freaking great. I think if you're a Hocus Pocus fan and you like the Q-Fig style, and I certainly do, I think this is a great representation of them in Q-Fig form. I freaking love this, if I'm being honest. I really, really love it. Great design, really smartly thought out, really fun and playful and creative. I dig it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this Q-Fig. If you want, you can subscribe to me here on this channel by clicking subscribe, and I'll put the links for my social media right now.